and we are back for another lesson about skills for learning. This is lesson two, and we're going to talk about using self-talk today. But before we do that, I don't know if you can see this, I am wondering if you guys can remember what were the two skills that we learned last week. Can you remember? Well, I hope you were able to remember that it was focus, attention, and listen. Okay, so to this week, we're going to add another skill. We're going to talk about using self-talk. Before we get really deep into that, let's listen to Omar's story. When we hear Omar's story, I think you're going to understand a little bit more about this. This is Omar. He's trying to work on his book report, but distractions are making it hard for him to stay focused and on task. So focus your attention on the picture. Can you see some distractions? Think about it. Hmm. I noticed that there's someone trying to talk to Omar. He doesn't look very happy about that. But there's also people playing a game and doing other activities in the room. It's really hard to stay focused. Omar is having trouble staying focused and on task because of distractions. You can tell he's getting kind of frustrated. You may have had the same trouble before. So what should we do? Well, let's think, turn, and tell as we did last week. We'll be doing this most weeks, by the way. So first, let's think. Let's think about this. What could you say to yourself to avoid a distraction? Now, if you have another family member around, you could ask them, what do they do when they try to avoid distractions or even other people in your class? Now, turn, okay? So that means make sure when you're talking to that person, you're looking at them and hopefully they're looking at you back too. Some of your classmates will be working on this in a breakout room. And when they do that, they need to turn and focus on everybody in that breakout room at the same time. Only when they have turned, are they all ready to tell? So when you tell, you're supposed to share what your ideas are and other people will share their ideas with you. And hopefully you'll have a nice discussion on some tips what to do when you're frustrated about being distracted. So we added a new skill this week about using self-talk, but we learned two uh, skills last week that I'd like to review. First of all, we learned about focusing our attention. It's so important to concentrate using your eyes, your ears, and your brain to ignore distractions, okay? Because we're in school to learn, right? And so you want to really be able to pay attention so you can learn. You're not wasting any of your time, right? The second thing we learned last week was to listen. Here are some great skills. Focus on the speaker. Whoever is speaking, you should look at them. It may be your teacher, but it may be another classmate. It's important to not talk while that other person is talking so that you can focus on what they say so they don't have to repeat themselves. You need to wait for your turn and in the right time, you will get your turn to speak as well, and hopefully other people will listen to you. Remember what you hear. All of us hate it when we say something and nobody was listening and we had to repeat ourselves over and over again. So don't do that to other people. Remember what you hear. And finally, a great way to affirm what you're hearing is to think of questions. So when somebody says something, think about a question you might ask to get deeper into the conversation. That's a great way to make friends. People love it when you're really listening. Okay, this week we learned about using self-talk. Now, self-talk means that you're going to speak to yourself either in a very soft voice or you might just be thinking it in your brain. Some people use a trick where they actually close their eyes a little bit and they see the words in front of them. I know that I do that myself. Some of the things you could say to yourself are, focus. Yeah, you just got to remind yourself that that's what you got to do. Another thing is just ignore distractions. Ignore that person. I'm just going to ignore what they're doing over there. I'm going to ignore that noise. Believe it or not, when you tell yourself that, you can actually do a pretty good job. Now, it's important to always think, what am I going to have to do next? Not look or pay attention to the distraction, but what is part of the assignment or the task that I need to do right now? Remind yourself of that and get back on task. 
And finally, dealing with distractions can be very stressful. And I know for some people, it's something that really causes you a lot of stress and anxiety. It's important before anything else to tell yourself to calm down. Just take a little bit of a break. I know it can be so frustrating, but it's really, really important to calm down first. You won't be able to do anything else if you aren't. So we are going to do a little fun activity today. So <clears throat> this can be done in a class in breakout rooms, or this can be done at home. You just need one other person to do this with. It's the telephone number game. It's pretty fun. So let me go through the instructions for you. One of you is going to be person player one, and the other person is going to be player two, okay? The first person is going to learn a telephone number. The second person is going to try to distract that person while they're trying to learn that telephone number. And by the way, don't worry, you get to switch roles, so each of you get to play the distraction part. What I'm going to show you on the screen is a telephone number, okay? If you are player one, what you should do is look at that telephone number, really quickly jot it down on a piece of paper, and then go and stand or sit or be by the other person. Now, once you're by the other person, they're going to try to distract you. They can do anything they want to do to distract you, but you're not going to fall for that because you're going to use self-talk and you're going to remain calm and focus on the task because you only have about 30 seconds to remember that telephone number. Okay, after that 30 seconds, you take that slip of paper and you give it to the other person and hopefully you can say, the telephone number is, and tell them what the telephone number is. That will mean that you avoided their distractions. If you don't succeed the first time, that's okay. On this video, I have four different telephone numbers for you to learn. So you guys can switch back and forth and you can try another time. No problems there, okay? But make sure you do switch roles because it's kind of fun to be both the learner of the telephone number and it's really fun to be the distractor. So try it both ways and you will really enjoy it. Now I'm gonna show you the four telephone numbers. So if you are player one, you should look at the screen right now and learn what the new telephone number is. Like I said, you can write it down on a little piece of paper. Um, when it's the other player's turn, there will be another telephone number and so on and so forth. So there are four telephone numbers. Here's the first one. Here's the second telephone number. Here's the third telephone number. And here's the fourth telephone number. And remember, if these went by really fast, you can always pause this video and just go back a few seconds, okay? Moving on. So let's do a little review. This week, we added another skill for learning. We've learned focus attention and listening. That was last week. And this week, we learned about using self-talk, which is basically ignoring distractions. Now we're going to watch the music video, Be a Learner, but this week we're going to have some action steps. When you hear anything having to do with focus attention, you're going to put make binocular eyes. That means you're focusing. It, when you hear anything having to do with listening, you're going to cup your ears, right? Because you're going to try to hear what the other person is saying. This is a good reminder. And when you see anything having to do with self-talk, you're just going to stand up like that. Adjust my screen so you can see me stand up when I do it. Yes, I am playing that video and I am going to do it with you. Okay, so let's see. I have this video ready to go. And let's see what happens. Oops, I'm very sorry here. It's not all the way back to the beginning. It's acting goofy. Okay, we're back at zero, zero. Here we go. Learner. Yeah, yeah. You come to school to learn. 
Oh, there's lots of things to see and do, so make the most of it. The power inside of you. Oh, Oops, sorry, I did it wrong. Listen with the ears, eyes, and brain. You lose your self talk. Be sure if they have a cute little game. The lesson is starting up. Oops. Your eyes and your ears are focused in. When someone starts to talk, show your respect by listening. All oh, fits attention. Listen with the ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self talk. Be sure if they have a cute little game. Be respectful. See you next week as we learn another lesson about how to be good.